basically created a space where Black women can come together and talk about everything that makes them feel uncomfortable. While the topic of discussion may be hair, you'll be surprised where you can veer off into other subjects when talking about hair. Today, I brought together relaxed and natural women to talk about the divide in the black hair community, stereotypes, and bridge the gap. I'm your host, Brianna, and you're watching Sister's Diary. Okay guys, so that was like a great recap of, you know, stereotypes and all of that. But, you know, while we're talking about this, could you guys get into some of the personal like hair experiences that you had, whether it be good, whether it be bad. Um, and I guess we can start with you. <laughs> <laughs> I know yours. Yes, so my journey has been a long road and it's still going, of course. So of course I was getting relaxed hair like I was perming my hair but I wasn't perming it to make sure that it was healthy I was perming it to make sure my edges was laid for my sewing mm -hmm. <laughs> so I wasn't even caring at one point I stopped even relaxing my entire head and just doing my edges mm -hmm. so that ate that up so for a long period of time I was like this isn't working but I didn't care because I just was going for what looked good and not for you know the long results so eventually I decided to switch to natural hair but of course I still wasn't doing anything Thing with it like I wasn't using perms but I wasn't moisturizing my hair I wasn't I didn't even cut my hair off I didn't do the big chop yet I literally was just <laughs> like living like not doing anything right on the right side making sure that looks right and that's it like I wasn't going to a hairdresser I didn't know how to take care of it and I would literally wash or take care of my hair like once a month or longer than once a month so it was really really bad <laughs> and my mom was begging me to take care of my hair like literally begging me she was like cut your hair off i remember it was like years ago like five years ago just cut it off start over and i was like no so i've been living with damaged hair for probably seven years now oh, when i wow. think of it um it wasn't until like a year ago mm -hmm. that i was like okay i'm done with this lifestyle <laughs> because i cannot be an adult and still have damaged hair wow. like i'm gonna be looking crazy mm -hmm. so um finally i cut all my hair off like just did the big chop and then i was taking care of it myself still still not going to a hairdresser because I couldn't find the right one. But eventually I found someone who was taking care of my hair. So like she's been doing it every two weeks, every three weeks, which I feel like I should start going to her even more now. Cause I realized with natural hair, you have to do something like every week, <laughs> you have to be taking care of it. So um, I've been going to her, but it's grown my hair because my hair was even shorter than this. So um, it's been working out for me. So I feel like I'm at the beginning stages of the natural hair journey but I've been on a long road too. Yeah. Welcome girl, welcome. Yeah. Yeah. So, tell, tell the people about mm -hmm. this hairstyle today. Yeah, so this hairstyle today, <laughs> this is my first time ever, ever wearing my hair oh, out. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Thank you, like when it was relaxed, I wasn't wearing it out and natural, I haven't worn it out since I became natural. So this is a big moment for me, like this is a big step. Like no one's seen my hair in like I know. eight years. <laughs> I yeah. love it. And I told her, I was like, she knew I was very uncomfortable, but it was like, you know, and I, I like it. I actually feel like now I'm more open to wearing my hair like, yes. Tomorrow, I might wear my hair out. Like, you know, I feel like right now. So. Oh, that's good. You that's didn't good. have yeah. like anxiety. Yeah, I didn't have anxiety. I was really nervous, though. I can't, I can't lie. I was a little nervous, mm -hmm. but you know, once I did my little twist out and tried to do something with it, you know, I was like, I'm gonna work with it. So, so that's my, ready, my story. Yes. Thank you. And it fits too. And it's so thick. Yeah. Like, I wish Thank I had you. your thickness. <laughs> I wish I had your length. <laughs> <laughs> right. You get now. You get yes. Yeah. Yeah. Anybody else want to tell a personal uh story? Well, mine is kind of bad, sad. But um, I pretty much had like long hair for a long time in my yes. life. And let, me, let me just say this. <laughs> <laughs> Area, baby. Yeah. <laughs> 
I was around there walking around with a little ponytail. <laughs> People used to tell me, you know, okay, yeah, yeah, hello. But I was like, no, damn it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It was like, hair goes in yeah, high school. Absolutely. So, yes, a little backstory. Yeah. Okay. So, I was doing really good. And um, around August, September last year, um, I had so much going on in one month, it wasn't even funny. I was dealing with a bad breakup. I was going through bad depression with that. My dad was like severely sick, and I was like, I'm a daddy's girl. Mm -hmm. And like, that hit me bad. Right. And then I was off of birth control for, at that time, it made it like 11 months that I got off the pill, but I was on it for about 10 years. Wow. So, mm -hmm. and then um, from getting off, I didn't have a cycle at all for mm -hmm. that whole 11 months until that time came around mm -hmm. oh, and wow. it finally came on. Wow. And then when they did that, I, they said I um, had post pill PCOS mm. from getting off the pill. What so, heard of really? Um, polycystic ovarian syndrome. I know what it is, but I didn't know that yeah. that was a thing, though. Like, I didn't know so, they had a post pill type of thing. What? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> post pill, when you get off the pill, a lot of them, when you got the pill compared to other methods of birth control, it's very popular. Oh, okay. So, um, with that, I had the androgen level shot up. So, you know what it is? Testosterone. Oh, so, I got really hairy. You get oh. hair, you get body hair, and then you lose hair on your head. Oh, wow. So, Maybe with all that hair. together, I didn't know what was going on, but they were just saying I had, like, very high stress levels mm -hmm. because I was, like, every day. I was scared to comb my hair for a while. I was in a ponytail some days, and I was doing this, and it was just wise. And you just see the white bulbs in the hair, so it wasn't breakage. It was, it was just, from it was the roots. Coming straight from the roots. And it was just coming, it was just coming out so bad, so I was like, okay, what's going on? And then, like, I haven't started wearing my hair straight, like, down like this until that I, I met you all, um, what, what was it, a month ago now? Yeah. 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 Before then, I've been wearing a little braid halo, <laughs> braid out to a minimum, because yeah. sometimes I look a little thin on the end, like, no, <laughs> no, it's not gonna work. Right. Or I just put in a ponytail or bun or something, but, like, they put me on um, steroids, not in my body, but just like it's a liquid form to go on my scalp mm -hmm. to help with the hair. It has helped a lot. Um, I was on it for about six months um, because I was just, they gave me a hormone drug to um, take, but I was like, why am I gonna take this hormone drug when the side effects are even worse than yeah. Yeah. <laughs> with the rest of the stuff? So I'm like, no, I'm not doing that. I'm gonna just change my diet, whatever I have to do to just balance my hormones myself. And I was going good with that part, you know, because I was scared of that too, because was, I was getting that, but I got that on the throat. Mm -hmm. But as um, far as my hair, I tried the rice water thing for a little while. Mm, it's all right. I haven't noticed much of a difference or anything. Mm -hmm. um, but um, I just try to keep deep conditioning every week and keep it soft and stuff like that. And that's why I stretch my relaxer since um, the day before New Year's, and I got one May 8th. Okay. And um, I've I've been doing like I've been doing like twice or three times a year now mm -hmm. for like the past six seven years, wow. and um, it was just crazy. Like I'm still like now I don't wear my hair straight down anymore because you can actually see that I didn't trim. Yeah. And now I'm scared of suits. <laughs> <laughs> Hey. It's been cool. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Did you say that in the hair <laughs> profession thing, girl? <laughs> so I've been doing like an inch and a half every month yeah. here yeah. and there. Where are you I know. Yeah, where I'm comfortable. So I just I'm not walking around with Bob. I'm not right. doing that. Right. So I'm just doing it as I go and mm -hmm. trying to get it back to its like fullness. Mm -hmm. So beautiful. when your hair was coming out, mm -hmm. did you consider going natural? Because a lot of people ask me, like, if you have a setback, will you ever, will you go natural if you have a setback? Because mm -mm. I felt <laughs> like I didn't have a style I could wear to transition. Right. Because I was like, I'm not doing a big chop. That's a big no. No, no. <laughs> right. And then I just get, I get very insecure with mm -hmm. weed. Mm -hmm. I just, I just like, oh, yeah, because you never can he see yeah. my tracks. <laughs> right. Can he feel my wig? Because I have some petty boyfriend, I have some <laughs> petty <laughs> brothers. Like, yes. I'm scared of what you in it around them. Like, right. I don't know. So it's like, uh, I don't know what to do. And then I'm, I don't like braids because I'll get like bumps or yeah, yeah, whatever, everything, scabs, whatever. So I'm like, I don't so want to do that. Mm -hmm. Oh, you did say you was timid at it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Girl, mm -hmm. okay. Well, we're glad that you're on the road back yes. to yeah. yeah. Okay. That's so good. Yes. Anastasia. Okay. 
Um, I guess my hair story would be that um, I went to college, I went to FAM in 2013 and I wanted, so I would straighten my hair like constantly. Um, I hadn't gotten perms, but I did get a keratin treatment system. Oh. It's a perm. Yeah. Pretty much. <laughs> They gonna tell you that it's not that your hair is gonna revert back, mm -hmm. but usually like after the second or third one, if you watch girls on YouTube, like your hair doesn't go back. Mm -hmm. right. The first one, my hair went back perfect. Like after four months, my hair just curled back up. Mm -hmm. But after I got that second one, I don't know. It never. And I used to straighten my hair quite often, so that probably contributed mm -hmm. to it yeah. as well. So when I got to college, everybody was natural because I went to an HBCU. Mm -hmm. And um, I just wanted to have that experience. But I never did it. I was always too scared because my hair was long. My hair was like past bra shot length when I got to college. It was just straight. So um, I paid for college myself. Like I put myself through college. And my going into my junior year, I ran out of money. Like I didn't know how I was going to pay for college, like what I was going to do. And so I joined the military. Um, I joined the reserves. And I was really sad about it because I always wanted to be in the military, but like I didn't want to feel forced. Like I didn't want to feel like I'm being forced to make this decision prematurely. Like I thought I had more years to think about it. And um, so I stopped doing my hair. I went home in the middle of the semester of my spring semester, my sophomore year. Most of my teachers let me like send in my work mm -hmm. and nobody thought I was coming back to college. And I was just like, I just did not get out of bed. Like I was just so sad. And with me not getting out of bed, I wasn't combing my hair. I wasn't doing anything. And the right side of my head matted like to my head. <laughs> and my mom, just like your mama was begging me like, girl, you have to do something to your hair. Like it looks crazy. Like you have to do something. Like I can't even comb <laughs> through it. And um, so she was like, I booked you a hair appointment, um, go. I told her, like, I told her I'll pay extra for detangling of however long it's going to take. Just go to your appointment. I went to that appointment. Sis was like, so what do you want to do with your hair? Your mom just said we're going to detangle it, and then I'm going to straighten it for you. And I was like, just cut it off. Just and like she was that. like, yeah. <laughs> I was like, just cut it off. And she was like, oh, okay, cut it shorter. And she got her little scissors and she started cutting pieces. I said, no, with those. I pointed at her clippers. The clippers. And she was like, okay. <laughs> and so like, she, she was like, and then we just buzz cut my head. Yeah, I, buzz, I did a buzz cut. And like, I never I never looked back and it grew. Um, and then I, I protective styled for like two years. I never wore my hair out. I, I always had a sew in. Mm -hmm. And then one day I took it out and I felt like it was long enough and I've been wearing my hair out ever since. Okay. Oh, wow. That's amazing. I'm done. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm saying I wouldn't grab for that one. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Tiffany. Okay. So um, my last relaxer was, I would say, December of 2015. Um, before then, I had been watching YouTube videos on girls going natural, and back in 2015, there wasn't that many videos, mm -hmm. you know, like, there wasn't that many people doing it. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I was very intrigued, and, like, I would watch all these videos, and I didn't know that I had curly hair, you know. My family, they're very, like, old school Dominican, so they just always told me that I had to get my hair straightened because it was just, like, nappy that and you know all that crazy stuff so um i had been watching those videos and it, it just sparked my curiosity so i would like try and make my mom hold off on getting my relax my relaxer so i could see like my curl pattern and stuff um so we fought back and forth a lot you know she ended up forcing me to get my hair relaxed again so that was my last relaxer and then i transitioned for like six seven months and i big chopped my hair myself in my bathroom um July of 2016 after I graduated high school um, so I was never nervous to wear my hair out because I had been building up to it and I'm just very carefree in general so I like walking around and I never really styled it that much either when I first went natural so it was just like a big puff ball mm -hmm. um, but I guess a lot of the negative experience that I've had is Mostly from my family, I would say, mm -hmm. just saying that I look dirty and like, oh, <laughs> yes, dirty. Girl. 
That's like a bit. Wow. <laughs> I'm the only one in my family with like you know curly. And it's hair. your culture, probably. Yeah, it is. I mean, Dominicans—they're very racist, you know. Oh. <laughs> like you know, old school Dominicans. Uh, my whole family—they're very fair skinned and they keep their hair straight. Mm -hmm. So, um, but like from people on the street, I mean, I work in West Chase, so it's mostly like Caucasian people. So, mm -hmm. you know, my clients, they're always like, oh, is that all of your hair? Or is that a wig? Is that a ponytail? You know, like all kinds of stuff. And I think they may say that because they want their hair like that. So they like, yeah. well, I got to yeah. get my hair like that. And a lot of people ask to touch it, but. Mm -hmm. oh, I do that too. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's a little like weird, mm -hmm. but I'm nice. So I'm like, yeah, you know, whatever. I don't mm -hmm. really care, you know, if it's my clients. Like if it's people on the street, I'm like, okay, dude, like, <laughs> stop being weird. But. Other than that, I mean, I really love being natural. And I could say this though, I'd probably still be relaxed if my hair wasn't damaged um, when I was getting relaxers. Cause you know, I had a lot of breakage and like the hair at my nape wasn't growing, my edges weren't growing, so it was just a mess. But yeah. I wouldn't go back. <laughs> okay, um, so I'm pretty new to relaxers considering like people who've been getting it since like high school. So I started getting relaxers freshman year of college. I wanna say this was probably 2011. And my roommate started doing it and I'm big on experimentation. So when I finally went back to Jamaica, I actually cut it into a bob. So it was like really short and I maintained that bob for like two years. And then I was like, okay, I want something new. So I got highlights and I maintained that for a year and a half. And then I was like, okay, something else new. And I went to the hairdresser and I was like, I showed him a picture of kind of like a balayage type vibe. <laughs> and he looked at it and he was like, oh, um, can I do my own type of vibe? I'm like, okay, sure, no problem. I walked out there with brown hair, with a bleach out section in the front, which looks nice in the beginning. But that's not what you asked for. <laughs> but that's, it's not what I asked for, but it looked nice. It really, I wasn't complaining. Okay. And then my hair started to grow. And I had like three different colors in my hair. Right, the roots. And I was like, this does not look good anymore. So I actually started um, putting a rinse over it. And I did that kind of just because it's like, I don't like the way this looks anymore. And my hair actually, because it was colored and it was bleached, it actually started breaking off a little bit. And I was like panicking. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. And then I, I started rinsing it. I'm like, okay, it will grow back. It's not that big a deal. It's just hair. It's all right. Mm -hmm. And since then, I haven't colored my hair. I stretch my relaxers pretty far. And I just kind of take care of it as best as I possibly can. My big downfall recently is doing braids. I realize my hair does not like braids at all. So I'm trying to kind of stay away from them. But overall, I feel like I get a very good vibe from my mom who's also relaxed. And she's been relaxed since I was born, mm -hmm. um, since she was younger. And she's big on it's your choice to do what you want with your hair. Um, and that's why it pretty much took me this long to decide, okay, I'm going to relax my hair and this is what I'm going to do and keep it this way for as long as I possibly can. Mm -hmm. So like, how did you used to wear your natural hair? So, um, I used to get like twists, like kind of like rope twists mm -hmm. or it was always in buns or little plaits. I was in high school, it was not that big a deal, <laughs> but like nowadays, like if I could go back. I would say I wish I could do like a wash and go yeah. and you know all the these pretty stuff. curly yeah. styles <laughs> but it's just like I had really thick hair and it was so hard to manage that I don't even know if I would be able to do any of that right at that age oh um, I don't really feel like I have like a bad experience well <laughs> it can be good or bad I mean, I did something that I regretted to my hair, <laughs> like kind of recently. It was like my senior year in college, and I was going through a depression, and I'm like, I want something different, like something need to change. Like, you know, like you want something different, but you don't know what. Mm -hmm. I was just like, I was on the phone with my best friend. I'm like, I'm about to cut my hair. Mm -hmm. and she was like, you're lying. I'm like, no, I really am. I'm about to cut my hair. So I'm like in my room cutting my hair and it was like short when I, I straight when I blow dry my hair 
Mm. Not thinking, Janae, when you wet this, it's going to shrivel up. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, this it's not going to be too short because I'm always used to having like my hair long. So I'm like, I don't want it too short because I didn't know how it would feel with my hair short. Once I wet it, I'm like, what mm. did I do? Like it was, I think it was like up to here. Shrunk. I can imagine. I'm like, oh, that'd be cute. I, I don't know what I got. No yeah, yeah, definitely. Mm-hmm. I literally, but I did not. I was like, like kind of insecure about it because I wasn't used to like how I look with my hair that short. Mm-hmm. So I kind of like went off the radar. I'm like, uh, uh-uh, I'm not making no videos for a little bit. Like I don't take nothing because I don't, I wanted my hair to grow out some more because I didn't want it that short. But that was the biggest regret in my life. I don't think I would ever cut my hair again <laughs> because it was just like, I don't know. Like, I tried to other people, like, you know, embrace your natural hair. But I guess it was kind of like one of those things, like, now you could feel how other people feel, like, yeah. with mm-hmm. short hair and why they want their hair. Like, I didn't know what to do with my hair that short because I was so used to long hair. Yeah, so I had to experiment. Can I ask get... a question? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Do, do y'all think that it's like, that there's like a negative attachment to how much we put on length? Oh, I definitely. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I feel like we put so much, I feel like everyone that has gone so far has said something about like length. 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 Yes. yes. Yeah. I agree. Especially if it's not like a style, like if it's not mm-hmm. a bob or like, yeah. mm-hmm. you know, it's Six like, oh, I don't want short hair, you know, like. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe it's but I definitely do. attached to like it's humidity. definitely becoming more common now. Like you know, people have the pixie cuts and they mm-hmm. style it mm-hmm. nicely. You know, yeah. so like it's, it's not, not good. Short hair isn't good unless it's a style. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But I don't want to cut my hair. That's a good point. Cut it. Yeah. I'm gonna cut my hair I eventually. Want uh, I want a bob. But how mm-hmm. short do you want to cut your hair? Yeah, look at <laughs> <all. laughs> I mean, because I've been saying the same thing for a long time, but it's yeah. like when I get to a certain point, I'm going to cut it. Maybe like when I get 30. Just I'm like really unhappy <laughs> with my texture. Just right Taylor, now. give me a bob unit. Yeah. 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 Let me to be crying. I would have to show you like my old texture compared to what my texture is now. It's so different. Um, I tried to do research on it, and they said that. The longer your hair gets, the more weighed down it gets. Mm-hmm. So the looser your curls will appear, but yeah. they're not actually damaged. Mm-hmm. I keep going to the hairstylist. I keep telling sis my hair is damaged. She keeps telling me it's not. <laughs> so, I mean, she's a professional, so I guess she's right. <laughs> but, but, like, I want my hair to look how it looked when Before it was, like, shorter. shorter. So if I have to cut, cut it to get that bounce back, then I got to cut it because okay. I, mm-hmm. I'm more... I'm more into the way that my curls spiraled yes. than yeah. like how long it is. Mm-hmm. I could definitely. But agree I'm trying to be grateful. When I cut my hair, I did love. Don't they be they curls. Curls. Just like, ah, 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 like they just, yes. they just, you know. <laughs> That's what I wanted to ask you too because I know in high school your hair was more wavy. Like I don't even oh, think your hair cut, was like yeah. curly mm-hmm. at all. That could be another bad experience because I used to straighten my hair so much yeah. because I didn't know how to take care of natural hair. I was the only person in my hair with curly family and with curly hair so it was like nobody could tell me like what to do mm-hmm. you know with my hair so it's like okay just straighten, straighten it. it like yeah. mm-hmm. it's my mom know how to you true. know straighten my hair so it's like okay but as time went on my curls it's like it wasn't no curls i had stringy parts mm-hmm. it, was, it was a mess so did you have to like cut the straight parts off mm-hmm. like i didn't do like a big chop um i kind of like gradually cut it like my mom would cut it Every time um, I'll ask her, like, can you, you know, cut it? Because I didn't. I just did not want my hair short. Um, and eventually, like, she cut all of the straight pieces and it reverted. So I guess I'll start from the beginning. So I'm one of those people who mother relaxed their hair very early in life. So I think I was probably about, like, six or something Jesus. like that. Yeah. <laughs> I was young, too. I was very young. young when I got my hair short. <laughs> yeah. I'm what sick. What do you oh, mean? Wow. Wow. Your own hair. <laughs> my, hair sick. No. my mama said my hair was <laughs> so yes, naughty. Yes. So, I mean, mine, I had two different textures. Like, in the back, it was real, like, you know, and in the front, it was kind of wavy. So, mm-hmm. it's just like, and that is the thing that you can't have two different textures mm-hmm. of hair. So, um, my mom kind of was trying to do, like, a balance out. And it was not necessarily a relaxer, more like a texturizer, but, I mean, kind of the same. Um, so, I've basically been relaxed 
pretty much my entire life. Um, I can't say that I ever really had a struggle with like my hair. Um, I do feel like, you know, when I was in middle school, going into high school, that it kind of seemed like it was at a standstill. Like, you know, once you get to that yeah. shoulder length mm -hmm. point, it just yeah. seemed like, it's okay, not it's not, not really doing it. I might get a little longer, but it's not really doing nothing. But, you know, okay, we used to be wearing our little up dudes. <laughs> 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 Balls, you know, like, yeah. real hard, crunchy style. Yes, so it is exactly. So it was just like, oh, who cares? Whatever. Right. Uh, then, you know, once we got into like our junior senior, you know, we want to wear our wraps and stuff like mm -hmm. that. And, you know, okay. Then, yes, then, you know, buns, whatever. <laughs> yes. We used to be wearing it like age appropriate, you know. Mm -hmm. But um, then, I think you did my first song in senior year. Yes. yes. And, you know, I'm like, okay. You know, I have my little Beyonce thing going <laughs> yes. on. But then I kept like doing this little press thing, and then I noticed when I took it out, it's like, oh dang, like heat damage. Like it was so short up here, and then the rest was like, okay, cool. So then I was like, all right. Um, then I start making you part ways. I'm like, okay, cool. This this good or whatever. But it was still the problem with the heat damage. So I'm like, dang, dog. So then I start experimenting more, and that's when I really start getting into the whole wig thing. So then I'm starting to do, like, Chinese bangs. Okay, I need to, I need to bring it all up. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, all right, illusion part wigs, okay. And then we kind of elevate it gradually. You, you skip some. What did I skip? Oh, that I colored my hair. Yeah. Oh, I forgot. I forgot I did color my hair senior year. Mm -hmm. And everybody was like, oh, girl, your hair going to fall out. Like, you going to be bald head. Like, that's what happened to me. And I was like, uh-uh, that ain't going to happen to me. Like, what color was it? It was blonde. Oh. It was blonde. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I bleached it. And um, I don't, I don't I know if I did it at the top or what, but yes. <laughs> so everybody was like, oh, your head gonna fall out, girl. And I was just like, nah, nah, nah. So I had a regimen. Every Sunday evening, I would do a wash in a deep condition while I sit in the dryer. Like, I was determined that my head is not going to fall out. And it didn't. And it didn't. Like, it really didn't. And it literally, like, the color grew out, you know, didn't have, like, an ombre thing going on. I was like, well, I want to color it again. So, I did it again. I mean, that grew out. And it, it eventually, like, you know, got longer. And I'm like, okay, well, it's cool. So, then that's when the I started. Okay, that's yeah. when I started. So, let's fast forward back to that part. Um, So, then I started wearing full wigs and stuff. And I just started to notice that, you know, as I would take it out to wash it and stuff, like, I'm like, oh, it's it's growing like everything is starting to kind of like balance out finally mm -hmm. so i mean that's when i got more so into the protective styling and now it's kind of like almost like an obsession mm -hmm. you know that mm -hmm. i really just braid my hair now everybody's like well how you get your hair to me so i'm like you Weeds. know I, I don't i don't really wear it you know i literally braid it now um it's like you know when i first do my fresh braid now and i'll do some like jamaican black castor oil or mm -hmm. something at first and then as them braids get older she don't i don't be doing nothing you <laughs> know all. i really don't i can't even be like oh i'll be doing this i mean but i mean i probably don't even wash it as like i was telling y'all i don't mm -hmm. even wash it as frequently as i could so i mean honestly i'm one of the people that could do better but i can't really say i ever had like a struggle struggle mm -hmm. with my hair like i don't have that story but i will say that I feel like it's the best and the healthiest it has ever been ever when I just kind of like let it be, yeah. you know, so I'm not putting excessive heat. Like I said, I'm not doing them crunchy spritzing up, doing all the little fish fins and knot ball stuff like I used to do. And I'm noticing that it's just kind of starting to really flourish. And I mean, uh, I just have fun with wigs because I like the whole like I have Twitch commitment yeah. issues when it comes to hell. Like I don't like, I mean, in the morning, I might be short, and mm -hmm. depending on where we finna go, right. what I'm finna do, it's just <laughs> like, you got on, like, right. you know, so it's just like, for me, it's like a way to express myself, so for me, I really, really, really love my wigs, I like to play with colors, list, so. yeah, that's true, so I like to play with colors, I like to play with different styles and stuff, so I don't really wear my hair as often as I could, you know, and when I do wear it, it's basically like this, or it's in a pony cell or something like that, and did this for you you're welcome <laughs> <laughs> but it's just like i mean me personally i don't really wear it like that and i feel as though like you know that's why i feel like it's it's where it's it is yeah. yes i mean 
and that's pretty much that's I, pretty much I, it I for me. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yes. That's just yes. So guys, if you don't know, Taylor was on an episode of The Journey. That's another oh, series I, I have it. on oh, my yeah. channel. And we're best friends. Um, I feel like we're so much alike. Yes. It's just kind of crazy. Yes. Like yes. we used to dress alike. Yes. <laughs> like we're kind of twins yes. from like another mom and daddy. Yes. But um, yeah, so my hair y'all already know all my stuff y'all know my business this is my channel <laughs> so if you're interested in knowing anything about me then go ahead and scroll through my channel um thank you guys for coming thank you guys for watching but before we go we're gonna put you up on game i'm gonna have the girls tell you hey what's up guys if you're watching sister's diary then you may have a chance to win some of these awesome prizes we have a egg brush from the evers hairs forever we have Beauty from the Roots hair products. We have Meet Beauty by Suzy, and we have Lil Cosmetics, guys. These are amazing products. We have a hair product, an edge product. We have lashes. This is makeup. It's just so beautiful. And these are lip scrubs and lip glosses. So, guys, you're in for a treat. All the rules are down below, so make sure you follow those to be entered to win these amazing gifts.